Hello again guys, it is I, Freeze 700 We are back with some more Hammer Fantasy lore. This time we are talking about the Chaos Dwarves, also known as the Dowie Czar. Now, the Dowies are a very interesting faction because they're very minor. In fact, after 5th edition, we never heard of them ever again. They didn't pop up again until Age of Sigmar. That's how forgotten they were. So, 5th edition, Warhammer Fantasy, that was it. So, if you ever wanted to whip out the Chaos Orbs, you had to play by those rule books, which are very outdated, and the models are very shitty. But... Thankfully, due to Age of Shitmar, we now have Chaos Dwarves once again. But, uh, there's some lore conflicts. So, let's get into it. So, history. First, the Chaos Dwarves. You may think, like, where did their origin come from? Well, they come from the east. That's right, near Asia. So, essentially, what happened was, long time ago, before the elves and the dwarves ever met each other... The dwarves expanded, much like the elves did, but the dwarves expanded in the mountains. Some went way up north and got trapped. Others went up north, but to the east. That would be these guys. They ended up in the Darklands. Now, the Darklands are a barren fucking waste of ash, smoke. It's a really shit place to be before anything really happened to it. Well, all of a sudden, the Chaos Gates open, and now demons are flooding the world, and all the dwarves have no choice but to stay inside their holds and just pray to whatever will help them. Now, the dwarves of the old world, they prayed to the, more or less, ancestors of theirs to protect them, because after all, they're all about family and community, so they hoped that their ancestors could guide them through this. Sure enough, the ancestors came form, and they actually helped them through it. Grimnir, nonetheless, slayed demons and fucking did a personal crusade to the north. So, hey, woohoo, we're going to worship the ancestor gods forever. The Chaos Dwarves did not get an answer. They didn't get any help at all. This is, like, the sad tragedy. If the ancestor gods even gave them a sliver of, like, sign, anything at all, they could have probably been normal dwarves. Maybe a little different but still normal. Well, they didn't get any sign. And as they're just being bathed in constant, constant magical energies, they started to mutate. And something rather dark and rather twisted was born in this magical abyss. This is where we learn of their new deity called Hashut. Now, Hashut is a demon, more or less, or a god. It's kind of conflicting as to what the fuck he is. In the End Times lore, they just say Hashut was actually just a different name for corn. But the problem with that is that Hashut doesn't care for anger or warfare. He cares about other shit, like domination, slavery. The, the just constant stubbornness to push through and get your evil goals succeeding. That's not really what Korn's all about. He doesn't really care about being evil, malicious. He just cares about blood. And so there's kind of that issue. And then Age of Sigmar, they're now saying, well, Hashut is his own deity now, but he's his, like, very small deity. Which, again, that's very lore-conflicting. But Hashut came to them and gave them mutations. This is rather interesting, because dwarves are naturally resistant to magic. But after spending hundreds of years trapped in just this huge fucking radioactive bin of magical energies, even if you're resisting, you're bound to have mutations. Now, in the War of Vengeance novel, The Omnibus, they even mention about how the Beastmen were created from early humans. So, already you get a sense that if humans are exposed to a massive amount of magical energy... We mutate into these very unhuman-like beings, almost cow-like beings, that are the beastmen. Well, Chaos Dwarves, since dwarves are resistant to magic, being bathed in this much energy doesn't have that much of an astound effect. But it does have a fucking effect. Such an effect that they are kind of like their own species. 
It's not like the High Elves versus Dark Elves where they're the same race in all aspects. It's just different ideologies. No. No. Chaos Dwarves and regular Dwarves are very physically different, both in body structure and in, like, genetics. Deep down in there. Chaos Dwarves, first off, you notice they have Tusk. They have a lot of interesting um, features, I would say. Like, they're more snarly, kind of like a bull, which again is more to their deity, Hashut. They also have very sharp, jagged teeth, whereas regular dwarves, they don't have sharp teeth at all. None of their teeth are sharp. It's straight, flat, like shields. Just a big wall grin. So, that's kind of an interesting uh, difference there. Also a big difference, and this is more of not a noticeable difference, but just more of a basic difference is that Chaos Dwarves aren't resistant to magic anymore. They're not. So, regular Dwarves are, Chaos Dwarves are not. Chaos Dwarves actually are magic users. Whoa! That is a massive difference. So, since Chaos Dwarves are able to use magic, they're able to use the lore of Hashut. And that magic spellbook is kind of like its own video, because it's very interesting in what it does. But, just know this, is that the lore of Hashu is very similar to fire magic, to bright magic. So just about any fire spell is pretty much going to come out of Hashu's book. Now, the Dowies are also don't have runes. That's something else that I think is very fascinating. They do do things that are similar to runesmithing, like demon smithing. But that's very different in a lot of aspects. So... In the Chaos Dwarf culture, or real society, they don't have runes. They don't trap magical energies into a weapon. They don't trap magical energies into a tiny little symbol. Instead, what they do is they somehow wrestle control of a demon and throw him into an object. Now, this object does have a few restraints on it. So that way, the demon doesn't necessarily just come out in a fucking bloodthirsty rage and kill the user. But even if it does kill the user, which has happened several times, the Chaos Dwarf Society is willing to overlook it because it's a necessary loss in order to make this gigantic weapon. Now, as far as, like, cultural differences, there are a few. Now, it's been said that they are more perverse than the regular dwarves. As in, like, dwarves are stubborn, but these guys take it to a lot further degree, but a lot slower. So if you wrong a dwarf, he's going to be stubborn, he's going to hold that grudge with you for thousands of years, and he will make sure that you own up to that debt, or his ancestors will. Chaos dwarves are a little different. If you wrong them, they will plan and plan and plan your downfall, and they will do so by making more intricate machines, more dangerous modes of warfare. And they're going to keep progressing and slowly but surely they're going to get to you eventually. They're very slow. More so than regular dwarves. Now, about that, the slowness. Is their military the same as the regular dwarf army? Yes. In a lot of regards it is actually. That's actually the funny thing about this. Despite how very like dissimilar they are, they fight almost the same. The only difference is that Chaos Dwarves have cavalry. Chaos Dwarves have machines. Regular Dwarves don't have machines anymore. They used to have golems back in the War of Vengeance, but they don't have those anymore. Those are ancient, ancient runes that no longer they're able to do. But they still have the same mode of warfare. Heavy clad infantry super expensive very tight armies and they do have high technology but they do have magic and they do have cavalry and they do have slaves this is a big thing in the dwarf culture so back to the culture they use a lot of slaves a lot now their main slaves are actually orcs because orcs are tough enough to survive the deep, deep, and long journeys into the mines that the Chaos Dwarves have. Because the Chaos Dwarves can't be bothered to mine their own shit like regular dwarves. No, they're way too important for that. 
So they send a shit ton of slaves down in the mine shaft, and they whip the fuck out of them. And this is also a difference between regular dwarves and chaos dwarves is that dwarves are mean sometimes when they have to be. Chaos dwarves are malicious. They will beat you even though you're doing your job better than all the other slaves. They just want to beat you because they can. They're dominating you because that's their religion. They're dominating you because that's their fucking culture. They're not about killing you, although they most certainly will, because in their eyes they're superior to all races, so they have no problem doing it. But they're beating your ass to set dominance, because in their eyes their lord has shoots gives them their strength and their superiorness to dominate the other races. So that's kind of like an issue for us lowly uh, races out there. Now, what they do with most slaves is they actually kill them. But again, it's not malicious when they kill you. It's more like sacrifice. Because again, to make these demon smiths, in order to get these demon souls into machinery... Sometimes they have to sacrifice a large portion of slaves. So Skaven are nice because, you know, there's so many of them. The problem is, is that the Chaos Dwarves don't take chances because in their eyes they see every Skaven as a potential thief or saboteur. So they just kill them on the spot. But humans are just as plentiful as Skaven in their eyes. So they'll gladly take up a whole, like, thousand human citizens throw them all inside a cauldron and just melt them alive. Burning, screaming, and into the fire pits you go. Again, this is all in their culture. They're very malicious motherfuckers. So, besides that though, this has been the Chaos Dwarves. A little introduction into them, a little bit of history, a little bit of uh, military doctrines, and a little bit of culture. I hope to touch up on them again. Just know that these are like the very core things about the Chaos Dwarves I could really think of and list them off to you. Besides that, it's been Freezer 700 and I'm out. See you guys next time.